G'day guys, StreamYaga here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a uh, battle in the M4E1 Walker Bulldog, the Tier 7 American Light Tank. And uh, this is a very good game for me and you will find out why later. What, uh, as you know, I have been chasing LT15 for the Stug and it has been eluding me. And I've been having a lot of frustrating games and missing out on the damage. Basically, uh, what you need to do in LT15 is to achieve 3,000 damage in a light tank. Or oh, 3,000 damage and, spot or, and or spotting damage. And uh, I've just been missing out by like maybe 100 or 200 sort of damage and it's been very frustrating. But, maybe we'll do well this time. So, we've approached the far left island. Now, you, you can, there is an argument for going to the middle hill and helping take over that. However, I didn't do it this time, although I have done it in other games. Um, mainly it was just due to us not having that many decent medium tanks and them having a couple of decent medium tanks, well, high tier medium tanks. It just wasn't as safe. So, rather than YOLO up there and end up killing ourselves, we just decide to stay over here and provide some mild fire support. Now we took a shot at the T-3485, but we actually uh, did not hit him, because he's well in, well covered in that uh, rocky area there. Game is uh, progressing reasonably slowly so far, although we have lost our T-7 tank destroyer. We've taken some shots in this uh, chaffy, and he is taken out before we can land a second shot. I'm trying to see if we can get some shots in this SU-152, but can't. Trying to fire into this T3485, we land a shot. And do slightly above average damage. We've got three rounds left in the clip. And we can see our allies are trying to take this um, SU-12244 there. We've decided to rush him. Now he's missed. We're using our superior nobility, uh, mobility to to circle him. We just bounced a shot from the Tiger 2 there. And also from the enemy... Actually, that may have been an accidental um, shot from our teammate there. Yes, we... Uh, looks like we blo blocked a shot from the Tiger 2. Although he is most likely using the stock gun at that, in that case, because the 105, that is the high and top tier gun on the Tiger 2, would have definitely have uh, penetrated our side. For some reason, the Tiger 2 decides to YOLO down the hill, and he's met by a T29 and a Tiger 1, and he's just going to get taken apart by those guys. So we just decide to auto to auto aim on him, since we're he's shown his side, and we put a nice fire into him. Bounce on him again. Put a nice round to him to finish him off. T150 produced in the side of his turret to us, and we finish him off. And we're not going to go for a reload yet. We're going to see if we can put a round into those guys, but we don't aren't able to. So we're trying to put in a round into this IS-3. Doesn't penetrate. Unlikely at this range. And we're going to use the rock to uh, cover our escape while we reload. Playing auto loaders is all about sort of planning your um, movements in advance. And playing the M41 has actually taught me a lot about playing auto loaders. Um, basically, you've got to know where you're going to go once you've emptied your clip because you're vulnerable for about 30 to 40 seconds and that goes for I think uh, pretty much any old auto loader like the even the, the AMX 12T, the 1375, 1390 uh, the other French auto loader headies you've got to really plan where you're going and what you're doing just put it around to the Cromwell there we've now done just over 2k damage which is um, quite nice, quite a good game for us Try to put another round to the Cromwell, but we don't just we just miss. Try to see if we got some shots in T seventy one. Unfortunately, there's no shots there because he's behind the hill. It was worth a trick anyway. At this point, the game's fairly even. It's both nine nine down. Oh, 
I think we may have put a ram to the T-71. We'll have to check at the end of the battle. T-29's over there. Hold down behind that rock. We're not going to get him. So, basically, we are, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and um, down the 8 and 9 lines. Since it looks like there's no one covering that area. Although, it looks like there might be an SU-152 in the base. So, we want to be very cautious, especially. Although, since the TDs have been nerfed for their view range, um, we should be pretty safe since we are running optics on this thing. Oh, just on view range, um, the view range on this is 400 base, so with optics you get 440, and with the um, the skills I've selected for this tank, it's a little bit more than that, I think it ends up around 470 all up. We've uh, found the enemy artillery, almost reloaded, and we're just going to unload on him, should take three shots. There we go. So now we've got seven lands on the clip left. And pretty much from here, I'm just going to go straight for the T-29. The SU-152 has uh, gone to engage our T-34-3 there. Which is not good for him since he is on low health. And we're just going to unload into the back of this T-29. He can't really do anything. In fact, I don't even think he's actually paying any attention. He may even be AFK. Not 100% certain there. Enemy IS-3, he has been camping the, at the back the whole game, which is a uh, very strong tanking skills there. Bounce a couple of rounds off the IS there. He fires a HE round into us, which is uh, very lucky for us, because we would have lost a lot more health than that if it weren't for our tracks. At this point we haven't realised that our, um, our driver is dead. We will shortly though, and we'll heal him up. Just going for the reload. Now that's a good amount of health on the um, IS-3, the enemy IS-3 there, since our potential clip damage is 1500. And we're nearly reloaded. Just can use the um, corpses of these tanks to shield us. And we can get around him fairly easily. Although I don't know what I did here, I should have just auto-aimed. There we go. I'm just going to auto aim, we're just going to dance around him. That's what the Bulldog really excels at. We do take a hit though. We've got plenty of health to survive while he reloads. And there you go. That's game over. So, as you can see, we've done 3760 damage. And unfortunately, that's not 4,000. I think I actually said 3,000 at the beginning of the battle. I just remembered it's actually 4,000, not 3,000. So apologies for that. Um, so yeah, we've done 3,760 damage. So that's not quite 4,000. But maybe we did more. We did fire a couple of blind shots. Let's check out the post-game stats. Well, what a result that was. In the end, we have received our Ace Mastery badge, which I've been chasing for a while, which, that's a nice bonus. The five for Fetter Ribbons, Fighter Ribbons, and Bruise Ribbons. The Confederate and High Caliber Medals. And we did 3,923 damage. Now, the mission we're chasing is LT-15 for the Stug, which is performed 4,000 combined spotting and personal damage. Now, that's not 4,000. However, I did 109 spotting damage, or assistance damage, which gives me just over 4,000. So yes, I completed that mission finally, after many, many weeks of trying to chase this mission. So I now have the Stug in my garage, and I also have four female crew members, which is now currently sitting in one of my Russian mediums, the T-43, which I'll be bringing a couple of games to you, because I've been doing really, really well on that. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this battle. I certainly did, and I was so excited to actually finally complete this mission. It has been a bit of a journey, and uh, we'll see you next time.